now that means uh, for solving a question by quadratic uh, solving a quadratic equation by square method first you have to take first you have to take the coefficient of a common so it will be if you take coefficient of a common it will be within the bracket it will be x, x square by a it will be x square by a then it will be b by a and it will be c by a. after this all of you clear up to this all of you clear up to this sir yes okay now see now you have to we know one formula we know one formula that is your a plus b whole square all of you mute the sound equal to a square plus twice a b plus b square this formula all of you know yes yes or no yes so we have to uh, now break this uh, you have to break you have to break this uh, equation or this term in term in the form of this one a square plus twice a b plus b square so how can you do how can you break this term now see suppose this is your a okay if you take a common it will be it will be only x no x square why it will be a x square then b by a then c by a now see x square that means a square now we need for formula, formula we have to we, we need two so i done two here then we need a so a is x so x then we need b that means uh, the second term b now here b by a is there so we can write b by twice a clear now see now 2 and 2 will get cancelled now it will be same b by a x clear all of you sir yes yes so you have to form you have to form this equation in this form so that we can get the formula now see now here this is your x this is your this is your a that means twice a b this is your a this is your b then it will be what according to formula b by twice a whole square are you clear all of you clear or yes, not up to this yes then see it is c by a but we have we have written b by twice a whole square x additional yes or not we have this is an extra term this is the extra extra term so we have to minus this term to equate all of you clear up to this clear up to this all of you yes now see this is in the form of a square plus twice a b plus b square so we can write this as what anyone anyone this is a square see this one a square plus twice a b plus b square so we can write directly this formula now a plus b whole square mm -hmm. so so x, plus b yes. x plus b by twice a whole square but this is the extra term c by a and if you break this it will be b square by 4 a square up to this clear all of you sir yes okay now see one minute now see now see if you take a to the right hand side it will be zero yes or no because it will be zero by a yes so it will be x by b by twice a whole square plus c by a minus b by 4 a square equal to zero now see
I take LCM here. It will be four a square. Then a. So how many times it will be four a? Yes or no? Now four a into c, so it will be four ac. Then four a square, so it will be b square equal to zero. Now see. If you take now see if you write this b square, that means this term, you can write you can take common now like this b square minus four ac by four a square. Are you clear this step? We have taken minus minus sign common, so we make it will be b square minus four ac by four a square. Yes or no? Mm. Okay, now see. Now do one thing. Take this term into right hand side. So it will be b square minus 4ac by 4a square. Or you can do one thing. Mm, yes, <coughs> no need to take right, uh, this term to right hand side. You can do one thing. If you, you can write this term as like this, b by twice a whole square. Now see, this term, we can write like this, root over b square <coughs> minus 4ac by 2a whole square. Yes or no? No need this step. See this one. We can write this term, b square minus 4ac by 4a square as minus whole root over b square minus 4c by twice a whole square. Do you understand? All of you? Yes, sir. That means now see, b square root over b square minus 4ac whole square means what? Whole square means it is nothing but b square minus 4ac. So this term, every term. One minute. One minute. Now see. This is in the form of a square minus b square, yes or no? Yes. So we can write a plus b into a minus b. So that means we can write x plus b by twice a plus root of r b square minus 4ac by twice a this will be one term and another term will be x plus b by twice a minus root of r b square minus 4ac by twice a this will be another term equal to zero as a this term we can write x plus b by twice a plus root of r b square minus 4ac by twice a this will be zero or x plus b by twice a minus root of r b square minus 4ac by twice a equal to zero. After this, clear all of you? Yes. Okay. Now see here we can write x equal to minus b by twice a minus root of r b square minus 4ac by twice a or x equal to minus b by twice a plus root of r b square minus 4ac by twice a. Now if you take LCM twice a, it will be minus b minus root of r b square minus 4ac 
और x will be twice a minus b plus b square minus 4ac. After this, clear all of you? Yes, sir, yes. Boy, write down in a copy. That means these two are the uh, your solution or roots of the equation <coughs> ax square plus bx plus c. These two will be the roots of the solution. Now, this is the formula. You can uh, find the uh, roots of the solution by this formula also. This is the, uh, uh, your equation by square method and this is the uh, write down. So, where, which are the required roots of the equation? I don't. Which are the required roots of the equations x square plus bx plus c equal to zero? Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, write down number three. This is the uh, method that means uh, when you are asked to find the uh, uh, roots of the solution, roots of the equation by square root method, by completing the square method, you have to first take the, um, that you have to form uh, the equation in terms of a square plus twice a b plus b square so that you can convert the term into a plus b whole square. Okay. That means you have to take the coefficient of x square common. I will uh, 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 solve this type of question. Then now we have found that this is the, now see, this is the formula. If you put the value of B, if you put the value of A, if you put the value of C, you will get the value of X. That means the roots of the uh, value of the X, yes or no, roots of the equation. So this is, a, again, this is the formula. Mm -hmm. so write down, solving quadratic equation by using formula. Solving. Quadratic equation by using formula. Solving quadratic equation by using formula. Now see. Now see. Write down. Let let alpha and beta. Be the roots of the quadratic equation AX square plus BX plus C equal to zero, zero. Where a comma b comma c a comma b this symbol you know, belongs to okay a comma b comma c belongs to r r means real number r and a cannot be equal to zero then then alpha will be equal to now see just now we have found two formula this one minus b minus b square minus 4 by twice a or minus b plus b square minus 4 by twice a so if alpha and beta are the two solutions then alpha will be either minus b minus root over b square minus 4 c by twice a or it can be plus also so if it is minus then beta will be your beta will be your minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by twice a. Clear all of you? So why? Hmm? Okay, this one. Okay, this one. Now see, we have already found that 
this is the formula for finding the solution yes or no minus b minus root over b square minus 4 is equal to ac or minus b plus root over b square minus 4 is equal to ac this is the what solution two solution because this is a quantity equation so we have only two solution now if we let if we let alpha and beta are the solution that means roots of the two equation then means alpha and beta will be the value of the x if we let alpha and beta are the roots of this two quadratic equation then alpha and beta will be the value of x for which this equation will be satisfied yes or no mm. yes that, that's why the alpha will be in place of x we can write alpha alpha will be minus b minus b square minus 4 is equal to i say or in place of x we can write beta also because we uh, in the uh, this one, we let that a alpha and beta are two roots that means the alpha and beta will be the value of the x so then beta will be if alpha is minus this one see all the terms are same just this sign will change will be changed this is minus and if it is if it is minus then it will be, it will be not it is not plus minus it will be plus only plus plus minus only plus so it will be plus b square minus 4 is yes or no mm -hmm. you can yes. al alpha is plus also if alpha will be plus mm -hmm. then minus b plus minus b square minus 4 is equal to i say then beta will be minus <coughs> minus b minus b square minus 4 is equal to i say yes or no yes yeah now if you combine this if you combine this you can write that the solution of the formula will be minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac by 2 ac plus minus yes. means either it will be plus or it will be minus this is the meaning of this if you combine these two minus see this sign here it is minus that is plus so if you combine these two signs to be plus minus then either it will be plus or it will be minus this is the combined formula do you understand mm. up to this yes sir now the uh, see in the pair of linear equation we discuss some uh, three conditions when it will be parallel when it will be coincide uh, sorry incident when it, will be, uh, when it has um, infinitely many solution yes or no yes so in the same in the same way here the your um, that means your nature of the that means equation will depend upon this term this term b square minus 4 c whether it is the equation will be uh, that means the equation is uh, real or equation uh, that means the roots of the equation are real or roots of the equation are imaginary or roots of the equation when the roots of the equation will be equal it will depend upon this term b square minus there are some condition i will explain the condition so this the nature of the solution that means whether the solutions are real whether the solutions are imaginary whether the solutions are equal all that all these things depend upon this term this value b square minus 4 is clear all of you yes sir now this b square minus 4 is is known as discriminant discriminant means your what discriminant i will uh, write down d i s c r i discriminant m i n a n t discriminant it is united by capital d okay so the nature of the roots will depend upon this value discriminant value one minute. Now see, and the, the value of d is your d square minus 4 is here. This is the value of d. Clear? Yeah. This should be the value of d. Now see. So write down discriminant. For the equation, I don't know the definition of discriminant. For the equation, for the equation, a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. The quantity b square minus four c is called the this 
discriminant discriminant of the quadratic equation and it is denoted by capital D so this clear sorry yes okay now see write down that means now the nature of the roots will depend upon the value of the D write down nature of roots nature of roots the first we have 10 minutes left so nature of roots means write down first if 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 d greater than zero that means the value of the d that means d means your d square minus 4 is here this is your d now write down if d greater than zero both the roots are real and distinct what do you mean distinct this means what fixed yes or no if d less than zero both that is very important for exam point of view both the roots both the roots means the value of x both the roots are imaginary then the number three number three if d equal to zero comma both the both the roots are equal number four if d is a perfect square perfect square comma both the i will explain as i done both the roots are rational and distinct both the roots are <coughs> rational and distinct Have you finished? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> now see. Now see. This is very important. Suppose, let me take one example. Suppose, suppose this is x square minus 2x minus 15 equal to 0. Now you are asked to find the roots of the solution by using formula. So what is the formula? Formula is your minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac by what? By 2a? Twice. Twice. So this is the formula. Now here, now see, here you can write let alpha and beta, you can write when, uh, when uh, we were going to solve this equation, then you have to write. Now, I am solving the equation to show something. So, thus, now see here. Here, the value of A is your what? In this equation, 1. Yes? 1. Mm -hmm. Value of B is your minus 2. Minus, minus two. 2. And value of C is your minus 15. Now, what will be the solution? That means the value of A2, we will get two value because it is a quadratic equation. So, the roots will be what? Suppose X. So, now see. In the equation is minus v, so minus sign will come according to the equation. Now, what is the value of b here? Minus two. So it will be minus two. Then plus minus b square. Value of b is minus two. 
so minus 2 whole square then 4 what is the value of a 1 so 1 then c what is the value of c c minus 15 minus 15 so i don't we didn't make it minus 15 by 2 what is the value of 1 a 1 so 1 so now if you solve this minus and minus will be plus then plus minus minus 2 whole square it will be what minus 2 whole square 4 4 yes so then see now minus hey who is divisity minus and minus so it will be plus divisity mute the sum minus and minus so it will be plus and 15 for the how much 60 yes mm. by 2 mm. now see 2 plus minus root over 64 by 2 now see 2 if you root over 60 what will have value root over 64 8 8 so 2 that means the roots will be either 2 plus 8 by 2 or 2 minus 8 by 2 clear so it will be 10 by 2 or minus 6 by 2 so it will be 5 or minus 3 up to this clear yes sir hmm. now see now see here now the value what is the value of d d is your b square minus 4 ac so the value of d is here b square minus 4 ac not root over only b square minus 4 ac now what is the value of b square minus 4 this one 64 Yes or no? 64. Mm. Now see, just now we have discussed four condition. That means, see the four condition. When the value of D greater than zero, both the roots are real and distinct. 64 greater than zero. That's why the roots will be real and distinct, fixed. If the roots are less than zero, then roots will be imaginary. If the d is equal to zero then both the roots are equal that means if you get x equal to one both the roots will be one and one if you two both the roots will be two and two now see if d is a perfect square both the roots are rational and distinct now see if it greater than zero then the roots may be fraction also suppose half or one by five also understand no not uh, fraction mm -hmm. suppose uh, your uh, if d greater than zero then it will be suppose um roots are real so it may be your i think uh, yes uh, fraction all it will be in point also suppose 0 0.33 0 0.33 0 0.33 now see here are d is a perfect square then both the roots are rational and distinct. now see this condition in this condition similar condition that means the roots are real and distinct here both the roots are rational and distinct if greater than zero then it will be real but if it's a perfect square, then it will be what? Rational and distinct. That means, rational means what? Uh, in class 9, we have discussed the rational number, what is irrational number. That means the number which can be expressed in the form of P by Q is known as rational number where Q does not equal to 0. Yes or no? This is the rational number. But your root over 2 is not a rational number. Why? Because it is a what? Your uh, if you uh, find the value, it will be non-terminating digit. That means if you uh, if you divide, if you uh, find out the root over two, uh, your approximate value will be one point four four. But it will be approximate value. The value will be like this: one point four, uh, your three, seven, eight, something like this. It will never end. Yes or no? Yes. So it is a what irrational number. So now see here: if the value greater than d greater than zero, then roots are real and distinct. So it may be root over 2, root over 3. But if the roots are perfect square, then it must be rational number. That's why, now see this one. So we, we have found the value of D is 64. But 64 is a, do you know what is perfect square? Perfect square means, yes, this is a perfect, 1 is a perfect square because 1 we can add 1 square. 4 is a perfect square because 4 we can add 2 square. But 6 is not a perfect square because 6 we can't write in terms of square, yes or no? So 6 is not a perfect square, but 1 is a perfect square, 4, 64 is a perfect square because 64 we can add 8 square. So this is the criteria, when the D, get a, uh, D 
perfect square then roots are real and you should roots are uh, your so now see rational number also real number roots are rational and distinct now see five n minus three is a rational number clear all of you such that if you find d equal to zero then root will be equal if d less than zero then root will be imaginary now see if suppose it is minus 64 root over minus 64 imaginary number yes or no so it cannot be a real number understand so this so we can find the nature of the roots all of you mute the sound so this so we can find the nature of the roots okay okay all of you Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so we will, end, yes. we will end the class here. So tomorrow we will start the, our next topic. How can you find? Okay. So thank you.